After two knee surgeries and having to take time off the court, she didn't let that ruin her dreams of becoming a collegiate athlete. I'm seeing two's Morgan Cox finding out where a Westminster Catawba Christian High School athlete is headed to next. Megan Harding has played many sports while growing up, but volleyball became her passion and she's dreamed of going to college as a collegiate athlete. And now she can say she is. I um, never thought I'd really get here since I've had a couple of surgeries and I thought that all my dreams were going to come to an end. But it's really exciting to see like how gracious the Lord is and how he can turn bad things into good. Harding has had two knee surgeries, taking her off the court for quite some time. But she didn't let that stop her from coming back. Lots and lots of physical therapy. I went about twice a week for about a year and just worked really hard. And it was, I never knew physical therapy could be so hard, but it was like actual workouts every time. Harding will call Anderson University her new home this coming fall, and she couldn't be more thrilled. I wasn't really ready to go to college. I like here and all the familiarity of it, but the Lord just opened up doors that gave me opportunities that I didn't know that I actually wanted. She's been attending Westminster Catawba since preschool. That's 12 years. So Harding says it's going to be hard to leave. I'm going to miss how everyone knows everyone here and how no matter what, like you walk through the hallways and you just feel comfortable. You don't feel like you're being judged or anything and everyone is so supportive. Harding talks about what she's most looking forward to as she heads to Anderson University in the fall. I'm looking forward to just focusing on one sport and to being around people that love it as much as I do and that we're all just going to work together for the same goal. She didn't just focus on volleyball during her years at Westminster Catawba Christian. Harding was involved in basketball, soccer, shooting, sporting plays, and she was involved in the band. Harding's father could not be more proud of her for accomplishing her dream. It's, it's a dream of hers. That was the decision she made. She, she said, I want to play volleyball in college, and so she's going to get to do it. He says to watch out, though, because Megan is coming to win. She's very competitive, very competitive. I remember one soccer game she was playing, and, and she hollered at one of her teammates and told her, hey, if you're not going to play to win, get off the field. So Way to go, Megan, and good luck as you start your new chapter at Anderson University. For the second consecutive start, junior Madison Watson tossed a complete game shutout to lead Winthrop softball to a 5-0 win in a series sweep of Presbyterian College Wednesday evening at Terry Field to bring Winthrop to 19-19 on the season and 8-7 in Big South play. This was the first regular season series sweep of the conference opponents since the Eagles won three straight against Longwood in 2017 at home. Did you know that you can purchase alcoholic beverages at the Winthrop Ballpark and at Terry Field now? Visitors to both complexes can purchase wine or beer at concessions. And Ken Halpin, the athletic director for Winthrop, says he's happy this has started and that it's been successful so far. When you think about going out to a summer baseball game, um, it's just a really great um, part of the environment. and. You know, to some extent, we're, we're intercollegiate athletics, we're, we're um, categorized as amateur sports, but we're also an entertainment outlet, you know? And so we do provide a, a place for the, your family to go in the afternoon and enjoy a, a fun family experience. And so we, we embrace that and do everything we can to make it a great experience. Winthrop's concessionaire partner Sodexo will administer all alcohol sales to anyone over the age of 21 with a legal and accepted form of identification. Baseball alcohol sales will end at the start of the bottom of the seventh inning and softball alcohol sales will end at the top of the fifth inning. The Eagles will be back in action as they travel to Hampton, Virginia this weekend to take on Hampton in a three game series that begins on April 13th starting at noon and on Sunday the series will wrap up with a single game starting at 1 p.m. That'll do it for CN2 Sports. I'm Morgan Cox.